Uh, so we're still here in Hamden. Uh, been here since uh, uh, the 18th of uh, February, so that's like five uh, days. As you remember, we uh, lost um, uh, Bob, or didn't lose him, but he had to get back to New Hampshire. And we were kind of looking to find a, a new driver. That's right. <laughs> Is, what's your first name? Charlie. Charlie, okay, that's right. Charlie. Are you a cop with, uh, no. you're a fireman with Hamden? Yeah. I know, uh, I'm friends with Frank Ritchie from, uh, okay, yeah. from New Haven. Haven. Frank's my friend. Um, and I'm fr friends with his brother John, too. Uh, Mike's a good See, guy. I also got the only. Uh, I Mike got, is a great guy. I got the exclusive interview last two weeks ago with the uh, Middletown Fire guy. This guy's on scene. Uh, your house. volunteered on, on like a day's notice and he's here uh, and uh, so uh, I want to thank him and Charlie Charlie can you get in there please Okay, now students, students, can I get your attention just for a minute? Santa Dustin. Okay, now, first of all, you guys did a tremendous jo job, so give yourself a round of applause. And now, this is our way of thanking the Hartford Police for a great effort, uh, escort. So please, uh, give them a round of applause. Anything you would like to say on behalf of the uh, police? We're happy to do it for you. <laughs> Did you guys sign your organ donor cards? Are you? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> At least we got it. I don't know. Well, we thank you. We're just going to swing around to the man. And uh, I, I really want to thank you, uh, Charlie, for... Coming to our rescue, ba oh, ba yeah. Basically, that's what it is. You came to our rescue uh, to keep this thing moving, to keep the torch moving, and uh, I, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you so Did, much. If you wanted just to to say, you know, what your position is, and at the f oh well, I'm a, you know, I'm a firefighter uh, in Hamden. On occasion, we do deal with people who you know need um, transplants, um, and uh, it's very sad to watch people who you know, otherwise are very vibrant people, but, you know, they're going to lose their chance at life because uh, there's people who haven't signed their donor card and haven't really, you know, uh, done this little thing that, you know, unfortunately, in one person losing their life, you know, you can save many others, which I think is very, very important. Uh, a friend of mine just gave her, uh, her sister two years ago her kidney, and thank God they're both doing well, but it's just another example of, you know, how, how you can change things with, uh, with uh, uh, organ donation. And this morning, uh, you, you actually, you, this morning, you actually brought your car here in uh, Hartford from Hamden to prepare what you were going to uh, do today, and, and then you came to the Hamden to pick me up yes. and uh, drove the uh, truck of life to Hartford, and now you're uh, about to uh, get back, and uh, wow, I, you know, I, I just thank you. Uh, no, not a problem at all. Yeah. Like say, it's a great cause, and I'm happy that I could help. You know, just it's all about just being able to spread the word. Well, we're going to put this up on the uh, on the website. If you're okay with that, oh, yes, definitely. Okay, perfect. And stepbystep.ca, you'll probably see it there uh, by yeah, tomorrow. I'll be checking up on you guys' progress. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. The extra mile for a good cause. The push to think about organ donation today to save a life down the road.
Fox 61 and The Current bringing you more local coverage. Now, the news at 10. So bring statistics now about organ donation. 2006 numbers show more than 100,000 Americans are waiting for an organ transplant. Every year, 6,000 people die waiting. Well, the Connecticut DMV has been keeping track of donors since 1995. Since then, the good news is the numbers have been steadily rising. Then, more than 329,000 were listed on their driver's license as an organ donor. In 2008, that number was up to more than 936,000. Today, on the steps of the state capitol, some school kids provided the spark to help relay a message. More donors are needed. The torch of life made its way through Hartford today in hopes of raising awareness for org organ donations. Box 61's Jim Altman shows us how it works. There's more than one torch getting attention this week. These 8th graders from St. Augustine's in Hartford are fired up for the cause at the Capitol. What's called the Torch of Life. We're telling people that it's good to donate to those who need the organs. Torch of Life is a, uh, our symbol to shine the light on the need for organ and tissue donation. Liver donor recipient and campaign founder George Marcello is traveling the country in the Truck of Life and recruiting school kids everywhere he goes. The torch itself shines for lots of reasons. Pope John Paul II blessed that torch nine years ago, and he proclaimed that organ and tissue donation was a genuine act of love, and he encouraged me to pass the torch to the students. This is a two-year campaign which started in October. Already they've hit 75 cities, and the truck back here has already logged 20,000 miles. We're actually going through 160 cities in the U.S., and uh, uh, we're going to be arriving in uh, San Diego on uh, April 28, 2011. And they say it's the steps they take here that will help down the road. We've got 105,000 people in the United States waiting for an organ transplant, life-saving organ transplant. And uh, in Connecticut alone, we've got about 1,100 people. Why not give, um, give the gift of life? We don't need millions of dollars to go in the laboratory to find a cure. The cure is in us. Sign your organ donor cards, everybody in Connecticut. In Hartford, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News. I feel Superman! Feeling these feelings.